21-year-old Arnav Bhatla had dropped out of college, made a bold move of moving to the United States with a one-way ticket, and founded Coinbooks, a San Francisco-based Web3 startup, building an accounting software designed for crypto-native organizations. The company, which Arnav calls QuickBooks for Crypto, is only six months old and has now raised a total of $3. 2 million with support from world-class investors like Lattice Capital, Founders Incorporated Multicoin Capital, and even Polygon's Matic very own founders. The company was also accepted into Silicon Valley's Y Combinator program participating in the summer 2022 batch. Originally from India, Arnav had dropped out of college just last year to pursue his dreams of founding his own tech company. He said that ever since when he was 13 years old, he was always fascinated by computers and technology. He was then inspired by the stories of Mark Zuckerberg and Steve Jobs to create a product of his own that will impact billions of people all over the world. However, it wasn't always a straight line and certainly wasn't an overnight success for Arnav. For the past two years, he has played around with different ideas and almost none of them solved a pressing problem. He went from one idea to the next until, at some point in his journey, he had nothing but zero dollars. Fifty cents in his bank account. He said that he was basically able to survive by and pitch competition money. I had zero dollars. 50 cents in my bank account and at some point, I had to go two days without a meal and survive with the money I received from pitch competitions," Arnav says. Despite what he's been through, Arnav developed one important skill, grit. He believes that grit is a skill all founders must have. Additionally, he always believed that he was destined to become a startup founder which is why he never gave up. The idea of Coinbooks was born when he saw that a growing number of crypto-native companies had to handle their bookkeeping in a very manual and repetitive way. Additionally, no one wants to handle back office work, 